Hello and welcome to the connect file and in this video I would like to go over power supplies for your connect portable camera. Alright when we first got started we used we would basically just hook it up directly to an outlet and once everything was in place we just basically used an extension cord if we were in a small confinement in one room um, once we really decided we wanted to go portable, we used a larger extension cord for outside applications just to be able to move around. Or if we were in, a, in throughout the house, if we wanted to go throughout the house and wanted a long range, we would use a bigger extension cord. From there, when we decided we want to move outside before we got our power packs in, we used just a regular uh, AC converter, which is connected to the car, uh, a converter such as this. This model is a travel power. It's the HM300 model. We would just hook it up and use an extension cord to um, extend our range. From there, we decided to get into being more portable without the restrictions of cords and wires. Once we decided to go fully portable, um, handheld, we went, the first model we tried was the Black & Decker Pocket Power. This here is model CP120P. Its um, inverter output is 115 uh, volts at 16 watts and, and it also has a USB connection as well. Um, when we got our pocket power in, it comes with a power adapter and this here power adapter um, is not recommended. Like I said, this is what it came with, but the power adapter burnt out, and so we went to a universal adapter such as this, and we started uh, powering up the pocket power with that. We also found like a this here is a JVC um, AC adapter. It worked as well during the time we used this. Uh, we were charging it with this here adapter, and I'm not sure if we got a full charge on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, try to use it again. Both units charged up, and like I said, when we were using this, we could only get one unit to charge. It would not get a full charge. The light would blink, blink, blink. And even now, up to this point, when we plug this in, it doesn't even power on. So this here... Adapter is not recommended. They burn out. Uh, we have one for each one of these chargers and both are burnt out. And like I said, we use this here. It's called the power line. And what it is, is uh, a universal adapter. And it charged both units along with this uh, JVC AC adapter. It fully charged both units. So I will be reconnecting the Black & Decker pocket power to see how long the uh, charge will last. One more thing about the Black & Decker pocket power is lightweight and it says what well, it's under, it's less than a pound. From the Black & Decker pocket power we went to the Celestron um, power tank. Um, this here, however, the Celestron power tank weighs about 7.5 pounds, so it gets pretty heavy when you're hauling it around. The one thing I do like about it is that it comes with uh, the light, and that was one feature I did like about it. And the charge on this lasts for a pretty good period of time. What I'm going to be trying is connect all three of our power sources together to see what kind of run time we get from each one of them. From the Celestron power tank, 
I have moved on to the Halo um, AC-DC bolt. This model is the 58-830. Um, and the reason I went with this is because it has the AC adapter built in on it. There's another model that's just like this, but it doesn't have the AC adapter on it. And we will be doing a run test. I haven't really took this out to see how long it lasts, but we will be doing a run test. I'm thinking as far as connecting all three and just letting them sit for a period of time to see how long they will um, supply power to the units. But like I said, those are the power supplies that we use. And there's one other model that I've seen that's pretty popular with the portable units, and it's the 10 pack double A battery pack. I'm not sure how long that works or what kind of charge or run time it has. If there's anyone that's out there using it, um, I like to hear from you. Uh, one of those DIYers or uh, the people that are putting out the SLS cameras, I would like to hear from you or like I said, someone that's using it, let me know what kind of run time you have off in these. I know with the um, amount of power that the SLS or the Connect camera pulls, um, it runs through these uh, within an hour. This here, without a good charge, no with a good charge, like I said, will normally hold up for about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour. Um, now that I have something to give us a full charge, we'll be connected to see what kind of runtime we have. The the uh, Celestron, it would last, um, I think the longest time I ran on it was, was about two hours, hour, hour and a half, two hours. Like I said, I'll be connecting all these devices um, to see what kind of runtime. And as of the Halo, I have no comments on it at the moment as far as what kind of runtime we have because, like I said, this is the newest addition to the power supply that we're using and we're going to see how long it lasts. Um, I just wanted to share that with you as far as, you know, considering what kind of power supply you'll be using to power up your unit. And like I said, when we first started, we would just connect it directly to the outlet and um, run it right off the, the outlet. Uh, from there we went to the, the extension cord uh, for more room. We were just using the extension cord. When we decided to go mobile, um, that's when we began to use our AC adapter in the car along with the extension cord to give us more room. And from there we just branched out to the pocket power, the Celestron, and now we will be trying the Halo. Uh, like I said, we'll be comparing all these three items to see what kind of runtime we have, and we'll be sharing the results with you. Once again, thank you for watching, and we hope this video will be helpful to you.